This weekend I'm going to San Diego. I'm actually leaving in one hour. I need to get home and pack. Uh, it's a little tight. I decided not to bring uh, this for photography, so I will do some photography with this and we'll talk about it. I need to figure out how to put all this in this. I'm in San Diego now. So it's very sunny out, which is okay because I just put the uh, ND filter 32. I'm going to take this out and take some pictures of the beach from above. Let's see how it goes. It's very gloomy, uh, a little windy as well, and it's super busy. So I will take the drone up and try to take pictures of that pier from the sky. I also saw some seals in the water. We'll try to take some portraits of seals. from San Diego. I was able to take some pictures with my Mavic and now I will tell you which camera settings I used. Okay, let's go into the camera settings. In the camera settings I prefer to use manual mode as I want to keep control on the ISO. As a matter of fact I want to keep the lowest ISO possible which will be 100. At the same time, I will need to adjust the shutter speed and I can do so by using this wheel on the top right corner just behind the antenna um, and I will adjust until I have all the main information of my image in the middle of my histogram. I don't want the histogram to clip either on the left or on the right. As my, I want to have as much information possible right in the middle. In the second menu, as photo, I use single shot. As image size, I use the 4-3 ratio because basically it's a bigger image and I can always decide to crop it later. As image format, I use RAW because RAW will give me the highest and widest dynamic range and give me a lot more flexibility to adjust my image in post. Using RAW, I don't have to worry about the white balance because I can change it later in Lightroom. As style, I use the same settings that I use on my video. So it would be minus one for sharpness, minus one for contrast, and zero for saturation. I know this is controversial. Some people prefer to have plus one in sharpness. That's not me. I prefer to have less work to do in post-productions. Minus one is what works for me. 
And as color profile, I use this in a like, just like in the video settings. In the third and last menu, there are three things that I want to have on at all time when I take pictures with, my, with the Mavic. And those are the histogram, the grid, and the center point. Make sure those are on, it will make your life easier. And that's all. So simple settings. The hard part, as always in photography, is to find your composition. Aerial photography is very fascinating. The opportunity to have such a unique point of view comes with the challenge of having our eyes so far from the camera. So searching for the right composition might be a little more difficult, might require a little more patience, but the results can be very rewarding. Now, a very important part in any photography workflow is to develop your images in post, especially when you shoot in RAW. I know there is a lot of people that want to sell you Lightroom presets uh, to get your images Instagram ready in one click. Well, in my experience, there is no preset, there is no filter, there is no magic that works in one click. So before buying any preset, I think it might be a good idea to learn how to adjust your images by yourself. So let me know if you are interested in knowing more about this. I hope you found some good information in this video. Let me know your thoughts, leave me a comment, don't leave me alone. Thanks for watching and see you next week.